Hello, Royal folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal news and analysis. Breaking news, guys. Harry and Meghan are finally regretting their decision of leaving the royal family. I mean, come on. We all know what royal exit brings them. But their fake pride and evil PR plots leads to a life that they didn't even think about. And when talking about Meghan, Markle, and Prince Harry moving to their Santa Barbara estate in the summer of 2020... They were reportedly seeking more privacy than they could find attached to the royal family. Though the 14.7 million estate, an exclusive enclave Montecito, is surrounded by trees and the homes of other celebrities, the couple still isn't totally sealed off from the outside world. I mean, I knew it. Recently, the couple experienced two security breaches during a two-week period in May and have had six security incidents at the property in the last 14 months. Hence, it is proved that Harry and Meghan are all talk when they give lectures about saving the world. But in reality, they can't even save their own home. It's disgusting, right? But we still have a lot to get into. But before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for your enormous love and support. Thank you so much. In case you have not subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. And if you're really enjoying my content, I would really appreciate your encouragement. Please support me via Patreon. Your support would be highly appreciated. Please, the link is down below in the description. Thank you. It's all true, guys. Intruders have attempted to break into the California home Prince Harry and Meghan Markle on several occasions, and police reports have all revealed it. The reports obtained by The Sun show that two security breaches happened within 12 days this year, with a total of six security alert calls at the U.S. home in the last 14 months. According to the records, Santa Barbara police raced to the couple's mansion in Montecito, 5 p.m. in the afternoon on the 19th of May, the couple's fourth wedding anniversary following the reports of a trespasser on the property. Days later, on the 31st of May, police answered a second intruder alert at 3 p.m., just hours before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex boarded a flight to London for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It's unclear whether the couple or their children, three-year-old Archie Harrison and one-year-old Lilibet Diana, were at home at the time of the incidents, which were logged as suspicious circumstances, by the police. I mean, the neighborhood is renowned for its secluded hillside, estates that promise the utmost privacy and thus have attracted a whole host of celebrities, including Oprah Winfrey, Tom Cruise, Ellen DeGeneres, who own homes there. Harry and Meghan's property is situated on a private road with a lengthy driveway and a large security gates, though there is no such incident in the neighborhood. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's house is breached again and again, which somehow proves that they are totally targeted for something. Who knows what that is? Now, according to some other reports, even after so many breaches, there was no loss recorded for Sussexes. I Well, I think that's what's suspicious. I think there might be all another attention-grabbing plot, which is usually what they get along with. I think they're desperately trying to stay in the news which is very ridiculous on its own because at one side they speak highly of themselves being good citizens, parents, and all that, but in reality it's nothing but a curtain over reality. Their madness leads their children to suffer and also made their own life miserable, even though their hunger of fame still leads them on for more hideous activity. So guys, what do you think about the news? Do you also think that this is all just another PR stunt? Write it down in the comments section and let me know what you think. So until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates, be sure to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, guys, hasta la vista.